Hello, everybody. Welcome back to World at War. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start what we're doing, not playing the campaign again. I forgot to, when I first played through this game, to play through some of the Zombies maps, because Zombies is classic, and I wanted to kind of make these videos as a nostalgia trip rather than uh, have them click to start mission. Uh, holy cow, it was way louder than I remember. Um, hopefully my audio is fine. But I wanted to play these through <clears throat> as more of a nostalgia trip. Oh my lord, all of my settings are messed up. Hold on, I gotta fix some things. Okay, so I lessened the sensitivity as well. Anyways, I, I had to reinstall this to uh, play these zombies maps. Um, but... Uh, I'm so lost at the moment. I'm gonna. Be, you're gonna give me a second. I reinstalled uh, World at War to play these zombies maps because I, I wanted to go back. Okay, I just felt like going back and playing through these, and just kind of like talking and then recording them for you know all the fun reasons. And of course, this map is really slow. And I will be playing ever. I, I plan to play every single Zombies map that there is to play when I get to the COD game that it's associated with. Uh, because I think that's fun, and I like Zombies, so uh, we're going to do it. And I will probably talk about my history with Zombies and probably run out of stuff to talk about probably the second episode in, but... Uh, oh well, that's just kind of how it is. I also will be playing all variations of these maps, so this, uh, this for example, this is, uh, the World at War maps have been remastered like two other times, once in uh, Black Ops and the other time in Black Ops 3, so <laughs> it's fun. Uh, and I think I will be skipping Black Ops 4 because uh, I don't own any of the DLC for that and it doesn't actually have a campaign for some strange reason, unless uh, people want me to go back and play that because... That would be weird. Good start. <clears throat> but anyways. Um, my first uh, Call of Duty Zombies experience wasn't actually World at War. It was actually Black Ops 2. And um, it was it was really interesting. It was really fun. It was... <clears throat> Here's the other thing, too. Growing up, I always watched people play... Uh, COD Zombies and stuff. Specifically, I think, uh, Custom Zombies? Uh, for World at War. And, uh, that was entertaining to me, and I always wanted to play Zombies, and, uh, when I got a Nintendo DS, I had to play the Call of Duty Zombies on that, which, lord, that was something else. Um, COD Zombies on DS is extremely difficult, and very... Very interestingly different from what we have here. Um, but that aside, uh, I'll probably talk about that later. It's probably a good conversation topic. But I want to talk about uh, getting into COD Zombies and how that's interesting. Okay, this is going to be so bad. This is so bad. Springfield. Um... Yeah, I played a bunch of, uh... Man, this is really difficult with the stupid Springfield. I don't want to use my LMG yet, but... Because I know I could use this thing. But I got into Call of Duty in Black Ops 2 when I first owned my first Xbox 360. And it was quite the experience, honestly. Like, uh, and I got the season pass, so I kept up with the zombies maps, and I learned them, and I played them really well. Um, I, I loved Town. Town was honestly one of my favorite zombies maps. It still is, even though it gets a bad rep for having uh, lava everywhere. Um, but it was the one that I, it was the first map that I played, and it was very entertaining, so to speak. It had good strats. It, it was good. And then I thought Bus Depot was a fun challenge every now and again. Um, and then everybody hated transit. 
I didn't really like Transit, but not for the same reasons that people hated it. People hated it because it was such a big map. I, or, I think that was the reason people hated it. I can't remember. And it was foggy, and it was difficult. I just didn't like it because it... That was... Yeah, that's a fair point. I didn't like it. I didn't like it because it uh, had those exact elements, I guess. Because it was big and uh, really hard to kind of control everything. Um, having to craft all the stuff to kind of like get around and get to the super secret stuff, you know. Was it really my style? My style was more of get points, uh, upgrade weapon, get stuff, hold out. Or train zombies, depending on what the map uh, offered. Um, and then I think I owned... And then I got Black Ops. Was it the first Black Ops, I think? Yeah, and then I got the first Black Ops. And that was interesting to play through Kino. And all that. That was really good. I'm so dumb. I'm, like, thinking about... I If if you couldn't already tell, my brain is... My brain is flying all over the place trying to find things to talk about. But that was my first, like when I first owned an Xbox game, but I actually played uh, Call of Duty Black Ops on the Wii. I feel stupid for forgetting that, but I did, and I played that a ton, and the Wii version had so many glitches on it. It was kind of crazy, honestly. How many glitches there were? Because uh, there was... The Kino was just so easy to play through. Because there was the there was one where you could stand on top of uh, the second floor and zombies would just go to the bottom of the floor. There was one where you could stand on a, the turret desk or whatever that was there and get that, and then zombies wouldn't be able to hit you because they would go underneath of you. Uh, and I think there was a few more that I don't remember, but it was just so weird to see like because when I got uh, Black Ops on Xbox, to see like how all of that was patched and stuff. And I'll go over that probably when I get to Kino. Um, uh, the two like little major glitch spots that I know of. Um, kind of how they got patched. <laughs> the Wii. The Call of Duty on the Wii was something else, man. Honestly. It was very, very weird. The thing is, though, is that not long after, I got a pro, con pro controller for it, so that all of that stuff related to, like, the actual aiming on the sensor and stuff just wasn't um, needed anymore, so to speak. Uh, I didn't need to, like, point the Wii remote at the, at the zombies or the players or anything. I just used a pro controller. And, uh... While that may have actually put me at a disadvantage, uh, felt made me feel more like I was playing uh, Xbox or something, and that was always fun. I'm not gonna get that nuke. The nuke can just stay there for right now. these guys out and calm down a little bit because I've been just talking for 10 minutes straight but uh, also uh, the Call of Duty Zombies for Black Ops didn't actually have, uh, have the other maps it was just Kino it was only Kino um, so I didn't get five or dead ops or anything until I uh, got the uh, Xbox version of the game. And then uh, all the DLC and stuff. And me not understanding that Season Passes didn't start until Black Ops 2. Um, I think I only bought the... Uh, what did I buy? I only bought the uh, remaster stuff. I only bought the Moon DLC because that's when they also remastered all the World of War stuff. So that's the only one I bought on Xbox. If you go way back in my channel, you'll notice that there is a video called Shangri-La Fail or something? But yeah, I, I recent when I bought that, I wanted to play it, but I also wanted to get some footage or something. I, I really don't know what was going on in my head, like, five years ago. That was, like, so long ago. It's not even funny. But I wanted to play it, and I didn't know how to play it, and it was a difficult map. 
And so... Yeah, that's what happened. And then, because I wanted to feel like I knew I put, could play zombies, I recorded a, a video of me playing through Kino for Toten, which I can't remember how well that went. Um, I hope it went well. I assume it did, because I posted it. Um, <clears throat> Honestly, doing better. Oh, there isn't even like a leaderboard yet. I <laughs> forgot. There is no leaderboard yet in the game. It's getting a little bit hectic. They're runners now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was not expecting this. How am I not dead, honestly? I might need to go out there, honestly. There's a lot more space out there than over here. them real quick. They're getting too close, they're getting too close. Wow, I didn't really expect that to kill as many of them as it did. Wow. That, wow. Okay, I made it to wave 10 somehow. I don't know how, honestly, but it's all right. You'll notice that my, uh, I'm going to go from talking a lot to focusing on trying to survive for as long as possible. As things are starting to get a bit difficult, a bit antsy, as they say. Hit something to make something. I thought I'd had a drop over here. Oh well, that's fine. No big deal. No big deal. We are good to go. See what's funny about these videos is that I think the idea I'm gonna have is however long I go for, that's what the video is gonna be. So if I literally only last till three minutes in, that's just what the video is gonna be. It's just me going in, dying in three minutes, and calling it that. Depending depending on if I really know the map and enjoy it and all of that. Like, say, for example, Mom of the Dead. But, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Stuff like this World of War maps and stuff, these are the older maps, and they've been remastered so many times in the future. I'm going to end up playing them again anyway. That was almost bad. Not to say that I would screw up playing these maps. The only one I probably would probably screw up is the. What would I screw up more? Shangri La or uh, or no Shino Numa or Varok? I played both of these maps. I played Varok kind of extensively a little bit. Uh, I know it a little bit. Uh, I don't know if any any different from Black Ops or Black Ops Three, but those are the uh, that's where I've mainly played these World of War maps on. But, uh, we'll see here. And that nuke could give me a wave. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Oh, I get Molotovs. Not the worst thing, but not the best thing either. You can go with that, honestly. The bar. Kind of 50 50 on this one. It's good, but not really. Oh, you gave me hope, and it really didn't pan, pan out, did it? Oh lord, oh lord, lord. Yeah, they don't have the extra, they don't have the extremely red. You just get hit two times, that's it, you're done. I gotta be careful. I gotta be really careful. 
This is bad. This is there's there's a lot of them right here. Oh no, I got stuck. That's it. That's it. How? What? What just happened? Someone want to explain to me what that was? Because I'm pretty sure I was supposed to die there, right? I'm not crazy. I was supposed to die there. They surround. They literally surrounded me. They didn't even corner me. They surrounded me, and I was alive. What was that? Hello? MX ammo would have been helpful earlier. I want to make some distance here before I try to throw this Molotov. I've hardly used it, but I don't think it's good. Yeah, Dancer's not really, it's not really good. Crawler. Okay, what just happened? Why did I live? Why did I live? That's a good question. Garbage as car 98k is. Okay, I popped his head. Nice. I honestly didn't expect to go for this long. What? Oh no, I must have accidentally just swapped and said. I don't understand. I don't want this gun. Give me something better, please. Uh, that's something I can work with, although I'm slow with it. Man, this sawed off double barrel makes me go really fast, just makes me be really effective. Like, holy cow. Ooh, I got stuck there for a second. I don't know how many I killed there. Oh, I, I... I tried something and it didn't work. I thought I could collat and it didn't work. I... Shoot. I thought that would kill more in a row than it did. <laughs> it did... No. I'm an idiot. Anyways, that was Nocturne on Toten. Um... There are three more maps in World of War to go, and then uh, we will see what happens after that. Um, I don't plan on doing Spec Ops, though, because Spec Ops is just campaign, but with veteran and kind of like extra steps. It's not like something endless like this, where if I die, I die. It's more of I have to complete it. And Spec Ops is less nostalgic for me. I <laughs> Zombies was it for me. That was the extra game mode. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed whatever these videos come out to be. And I will see you guys in the next one.